Hebrews 9.27 says, And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, did the judgment, please, please forgive me. I'm, I'm not trying to be difficult or pedantic. I have no, been no, at no, this no. for many, many hours. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to go away and I'm going to yeah. research these two points. Yep. Yep. I've just had a, a note coming up to say that this meeting's going to end soon because I only get 40 minutes on Zoom. And uh, believe it or not, we nearly had 40 minutes already. Um, uh, eight minutes left. Yeah, that's right. So um, I, we, I'm just saying now because yes. I don't want it, it it's going to go, and I don't want to think you know, I don't want you to just, think I'm rude. And, uh, no, that's okay. Could we just dash to lesson thirteen quickly on page fifty-five? This is the last, the last one. Okay. It's the start of section two, the first can lesson just, in section can, two, can just, lesson just thirteen. Me. How false religion misrepresents God. I've got. Uh, Eight minutes and one second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. It says in section two, false religion does not treat people as Jehovah does. The Bible says that false religion sins have massed together clear up to heaven. For centuries, religions have meddled in politics, supported wars, had caused or approved the deaths of countless numbers of people. Some religious leaders enjoy a lavish lifestyle and demand money from their followers to pay for it. These actions prove they do not even know God, yet alone have the right to represent him. It does seem quite emphatic in saying that any religion that's involved in politics or warfare is basically a false religion that cannot represent Jehovah God. Am I correct? Did Jesus have any part in politics? We don't have much time, so we, we need to get to the point quickly. Is the book saying we, we can, that religion... We cannot, we cannot be involved in human politics and be supporting God's kingdom at the same time. So it's religion, one or the other. Yes, yeah, so religions that are involved in politics and warfare, the, Bible, the your book says these actions prove they do not even know God, yet alone have the right to represent him. If yes. you're involved in politics yes. and warfare, you cannot represent Jehovah God. That's right, yes. Um... But the watchtower is involved at the highest level, the level of the shareholders of the two corporations in both politics and warfare. Um, they did political lobbying. Uh, a company called the Watchtower Property Company uh, did some lobbying and gave $10,000 in the 2020 American election to Vincent Hughes of the state of PA, which I think is Pennsylvania. I mean, that's just one example of many of your involvement in politics. Where did you get that information from? Um, well, it's all over the internet that the Watchtower Property Company has been doing lobbying and $10,000 of that went to Vincent Lobbying Hughes. for what reason? I really don't know. Obviously, people don't just give money. Lobbying is done for political favours. So, obviously, there's some favour well, in the... I, I don't know where you found that on the internet, but, but yeah. I can categorically say that we do not make donations to political parties. That doesn't happen. No, it was to a candidate. It was to Vincent Hughes. That doesn't uh, The state happen. of Pennsylvania in the 2020 election. You would have to check that source out to find out mm. where that's come mm. from. Okay. Um, um, that, that, that doesn't... Yes. We, I mean, yes, we obviously get involved in legal affairs. You know, we use... The no, no, I, I'm the talking about politics. I'm talking about politics. But we do no, you do not get involved in um, One thing that I do have documentation in, and there's lots of documentation about this, is the Watchtower joining the United Nations in 1992. Your then governing body member, Lloyd Barry, signed you into UN membership as an NGO. So you had NGO status with the United Nations. That, that means non-governmental organisation. The Guardian newspaper of London did a series of three articles about this. It, the first on the 8th of October 2001, it called the Watchtower hypocrites because it mentioned in this article that you taught the UN was the um, satanic beast of the book of Revelation, it was of the devil, and yet you joined the United Nations. The Watchtower's never sued the Guardian for libel or slander, never taken them to court. And um, thousands of people from around the world contacted the United Nations about this. So the head of the United Nations NGO section, a man called Paul Hoffiel, 
had to write a to whom it may concern letter and I, and I have a copy of that. He wrote it on the uh, 11th of October 2001. He sent out thousands of copies on UN headed paper saying yes the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York applied for UN membership in 1991 was granted UN membership in 1992 and uh, then contacted us seeking disassociation and was disassociated on the 9th of October 2001, which happens to be the day after that Guardian article. The Watchdowers never sued Paul Hoffiel, never sued the UN, never sued the Guardian newspaper. I, what can I say? I mean, your spouse, I do not know anything about this. So, I mean, I can't really comment on it, can I? Okay. Um... I do have accounts for the Henrietta M. Rowley Trust. She's a woman who died in 1945. She bequeathed all her assets be turned into shares. And a Detroit bank runs the fund, which is autonomous, it's self-owning, nobody owns it. Uh, the sole beneficiary of the Henrietta M. Rowley Trust is once again the Bible, the, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York. And you can get the tax records, the IRS from the IRS Inland Revenue Service. Um, they usually pay between half a million and three quarters of a million dollars per year. Some of the investments, because they do have to have a breakdown of the investments and where they get the income from for tax reasons. Um, and you'll find out that some of the investments in the Henrietta M. Riley Trust, which goes to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York, is from arms companies such as Northrop Grumman, which makes the B-2 bomber, Honeywell and Boeing, amongst others. Again, uh, what, what comment do you want to make? Uh, you're spouting things to me. I, well, the, 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 the Watchtower is involved thoroughly. in politics and warfare. What, why have you researched this so thoroughly? What, what, what is it that you're after? Well, why is the Watchtower involved in politics and warfare? That's what I don't understand. I mean, even the Watchtower magazine itself supported, ad admits in the Watchtower that you support the American military. In the First World War, Rutherford wrote on the 15th of May, copy of Zion's Watchtower, 1918, page 6257 of the Green Reprints, that he approved the purchase of the Liberty Bond, also known as the Liberty Loan, which was money you could loan the American government interest-free to support the American war effort in the First World War. Now that's in the Watchtower. Admitting in the, in the very, Watchtower that you supported the American military in the First World War. In the very early days, when Bible Lights was still vague, um, we didn't fully understand... Well, the Bible will stand on neutrality. Maybe it's vague now. Maybe there is no understanding of biblical teachings now when it comes to politics and warfare. We've got yeah, we've got about clear. thirty right. seconds you left. Not, Why should I trust any of this, Mark? Why should I trust this organization that has a reputation of involvement with politics and warfare? Well that's a choice for you to make, isn't it? But I'm telling you that it does not get involved in political things. Now, but you don't know what you're talking about. You've admitted you haven't researched this. You don't know anything at well, all I, about I the actions of the Watchtower Bible and Track Society. To now, so you're well, going to run away. Your time and, do you um, want to speak again? Or are you going to do a runner? I, pro probably not. Bye for now. You're going to do a runner. Oh, that's it. That was a runner. <laughs>